What up, what up, what up, man? We back, we back with another one. Uh, if you ask me, Hip Hop Desk, next two or so, where we discuss uh, hip hop culture, music, and how we keep Movies, it. Movies, all of that. All of that, keep it late 80s up until the mid 20s. Back on fact with your host, Demi D. And you got your boy, Dutch Anthems. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. We, uh, next one, we're going to start with. Um, I'm going to ask my man, what's your, your top favorite? Top debuts. Top five debuts. Five favorite debuts. Okay. So important rap debuts, of course. Right. You know. Right. Of course. So, so no, in no order. No so order. No order. Just you know what you like. Not all time great either. Just right. what we like and right. favorite. Right. So I'm gonna go with Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban mm. Links. Right. I gotta go with Big Ready to Die. Of course. I'm gonna go with Ice Cube, America's Most. Mm. Definitely got Nas Illmatic in there. Must, that's, that's, that's a must. That's a must. It's a must. And then I'm, I'm gonna go with Smith and Wesson, The Shining. Mm. That's my five right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we are. I just need one, another one that maybe not your favorite, but you just felt it was fire or just important to the culture. All right. So I, I thought I thought long and hard for that, and I'm gonna go with Black Moons Enter the Stage. Okay. The reason why it has to be in that mix, it has to be there, is because I, as a young man listening to hip hop at the time, I recall it feeling like the West Coast was taking over rap. This is like what what what, what year is this? I'm so lost. It's like ninety one, ninety two, okay. ninety one, ninety two, maybe even ninety. It felt like hip hop was going West Coast, gang banging was the shit, and. and, and and out of nowhere, who got the props brought the focus back to New York, East Coast boom bap rap. So hands down, I gotta give props to Buckshot. Gotta give props to, to the Black Moon. Absolutely, CC boom yeah. camp click. That's brought it back up. to New York, and then, and then you know, then the rest is history because then you know, East Coast rap rolls the numbers. Yeah, you know I mean? so that's what's up. Okay, that's a good list. So I mean, just pick one of the albums you want to elaborate more on, and just like how you did with the uh, yeah, so Black Moon one. So Illmatic, of course, hands down. I shouldn't even have to explain, right? This is for the novices, though, right? right? Not because <laughs> I'm saying that's like that's, that's hands down. So I, I, I want to touch on Ice Cube's America's Most because that to me showed me. First off, it was it was an excellent debut. It was the the range like. From from what he was from what the group NWA was giving us, mm -hmm. his storytelling on America's Most was like 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 for me solidified him as one of the top top I'm gonna say top five just because I know people out there are gonna go crazy but I think he's top he's three story, I think he's top three storytellers in rap so so but I'm gonna just put it in top five because I know people are gonna go ballistic <laughs> out there they don't know no better you know what I mean they don't but, know no better. But that the stories on you know once from Once Upon a Time the projects to Who's the Mac, all those tracks, he proved to me that he's top three in storytelling. So that definitely important in rap because at that point I didn't know West Coast cats can really rhyme that good. Okay, well yeah, because that was early on in the game. Yeah. Right? Wasn't too many acts right because right. was, was that was spitting like that, okay. putting stories together like that. So the kudos to uh, to Ice Cube. Duh. That's what's up, man. That's a nice list, man. I, I, and I appreciate that with Ice Cube, too, because he's one of my favorite. But I couldn't put his debut as my, as my favorite oh. because I didn't really, I was probably too young at the time. So I really yeah. couldn't understand it. But So I'm glad that that really broke it down. But I'm going to get into my list right now. Of course, uh, same two of the same, obviously. Nas, Illmatic, got to have that as a New York kid. Mm -hmm. Biggie, ready to die. <clears throat> uh, Wu Tang Clan, Thirty Six Chambers, man, that was my that was my joint. Okay, right that was there. dope. That was dope, definitely. Lost Boys, Legal Drug Money. <laughs> <laughs> being from Jamaica Queens, being from Jamaica Queens, LB just was like, it was it. So, and I'm I, I wanted to name someone outside of New York. So I'm gonna say Freeways album, Philadelphia Freeway. Okay, that was really one of my favorite joints right there. Yeah, debuts, <clears throat> and then um. For my, uh, I just feel like this album is fire. Like it just was important to the culture. Similar to how Cube was, cause he's following from the same uh, West Coast. Snoop, man, that um, Doggy Style was just like, yes, it was ridiculous, man. And he was spinning, like he said, I you didn't really know that West Coast dudes go hard like that. He had Dog Pound on there killing it. Yeah, Lady of Rage on there killing that it. Swag was me. Oh was man, thing. so yeah. yeah. 
It's not. It's not my favorite, but it's like you gotta respect Doggy Style. I'm. A, I'm. A, I, I like the list. I love the. I love the additions uh, of of um, legal drug money on there, right? Cause that. That's when I missed. That's when I missed. I. I, I have to give. It's it a that. lie. It's all. It's not that, that was, five. Yes. That just was just that one right there was just. Like ready to die, legal drug money. Just I connected to, to those albums. Legal yeah. drug money, it just was Queens, man. Yeah. And, it, and it wasn't just Queens; it was just hood lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You could relate to getting yes. on the train, chilling with your boys, smoking, drinking, laughing, yeah. trying to holler at the chase, trying to get money. Bring me back, yo. Not makes me back. no gang shit, no yeah. no murder, no violence, but you know just. Young man, yeah, shit. Yeah, they had some, they had some hits on there, definitely. A lot of hits, a lot of hits. So, yeah. shout out to the, to everybody we name in and check some of those albums out. That's the end of the first segment, man. If you ask me, just tune in. Demi D and Dutch, man. You next one. <laughs>